Dorset paramedics David and Martin demonstrate the traditional way to treat a heart attack yeah. victim. The first few minutes are crucial. If the heart doesn't start beating again quickly, the body will be starved of oxygen. Manual CPR is given on the spot, but that has to be stopped as the patient is transferred to an ambulance. On the way to hospital, Martin attempts to continue CPR in the back, but as David puts his foot down, that is not an easy task. Besides which, manual CPR takes so much physical effort that the average paramedic can only perform it efficiently for about three minutes at a time. Now let's watch that again with the team using a device called the Lucas which Dorset has been trialling for the last 18 months. It's fitted to the patient in a matter of seconds and once on it'll deliver automatic CPR non-stop. In the back of the ambulance the paramedic can attend to other things and sit safely while the machine carries on pumping. We've been having the trials now for about 18 months uh, and the results have been exceptionally good. We uh, find that when patients are treated using the Lucas, the outcome that is when the patient arrives at the hospital they have an output, a cardiac output, their heart's beating again um, in, on 40% of occasions compared to without this device only 12% of occasions. So the trials have definitely shown us that this is a piece of equipment that we want on every frontline ambulance in Dorset. The problem is they're so impressed that they want them now. But each device costs around £6,000 and there are roughly 45 frontline ambulances in the county. We would plan this sort of investment normally and it would take two to three years if not longer to get this sort of money. And we don't want to wait that long. There are patients out there that are potentially dying because we haven't got this equipment. So we're on a campaign to try and raise the funds to put the equipment on every vehicle as quickly as possible. The service is now urging communities across Dorset to help with fundraising efforts or for people to simply walk into their local ambulance station and make a donation to get as many Lucas machines into their ambulances as quickly as possible and start saving lives. Martin Dowse for Meridian Tonight.